Putin made a terrible mistake from the beginning. He thought that he could negotiate an end to this. He thought that we would be horrified, the Ukrainians would suffer, and suddenly the president would intervene and say, look, enough's enough. Let's arrange peace talks. Let's sort this out. He was wrong. He now knows that he was wrong. And so I think what you're going to see from this point forward is a systematic effort to end this conflict. But it's going to come on his terms. And remember, he's got something else working for him right now, Judge. It's snowing in southern Poland. Winter. Yes. Can the Russian army tolerate a Ukrainian winter? Oh, sure. The Russians can tolerate it. There's no shortage of fuel in Russia. They have all the fuel they need. They can stay warm. But there is no fuel coming into Ukraine that will sustain the Ukrainian operation. Where's the fuel going to come from? Germany? Poland? No, not they're, from they're, Germany. Yeah, they're all rationing. Everybody's rationing. They don't have the fuel for this. The populations are going to suffer, and Putin knows that. There's no reason for him to move suddenly. In other words, to suddenly say, send a million men and let's end this. No, he doesn't have to do that. He can afford to wait, because remember, the other part of Putin's strategy is, even though people in the West have been told otherwise, he really wants to do business with the West. He doesn't want this open-ended conflict, but he's certainly not going to end it when Winter promises to provide more support for his position than perhaps anything he could do militarily at this stage.